So invasive group A strep is on the rise in the country, but what about here in Newfoundland and Labrador? The province's chief medical officer of health, Dr. Janice Fitzgerald, joins me now. So Dr. Fitzgerald, what kind of case numbers are we seeing in this province? Uh, yeah, so last year in 2023, uh, we certainly saw an increase here in the province in our rates. Uh, uh, about doubled uh, what uh, the highest rate that we saw prior to the pandemic. Of course, rates dipped for everybody during the pandemic, um, and we are seeing that increase here as well as as uh, what people are seeing or what other jurisdictions are seeing across the country. Okay, so it's doubled. Can you kind of put that into context for us? How how what are the numbers that we're looking at? So the numbers are just. 52 this past year so you know that's uh, based on the information that we have up to the middle or last week um, so uh, you know still not huge numbers in on the whole but uh, concerning when you uh, you know you're looking at trends so uh, we certainly have seen that same kind of jump mm -hmm. so strep throat is is pretty common it's a common sort of thing that we see what is the difference though between just the regular strep throat and this invasive group a strep yeah, so strep throat, as you said, quite common, and uh, I think most of us either have had or know someone who have had who has had uh, uh, strep throat, and uh, you know it can make you feel pretty miserable for those few days that you have it. So it's a generally a fairly mild uh, illness, relatively speaking. Speaking, uh, invasive group A strep is uh, occurs when. Uh, you know, uh, strep can get into the bloodstream or into other areas of the body, like into the central nervous system and cause things like meningitis uh, or cause pneumonias in the lungs uh, and can get into the deep tissues of uh, the muscles uh, and cause uh, something called necrotizing fasciitis. So these are the more severe invasive types of group A strep infections that we worry about. Uh, and these can be quite serious and life-threatening and so are require urgent attention. Mm -hmm. So 52 cases um, in 2023 in this province. How severe were those cases? Uh, most people were hospitalized uh, with those over 85% of people were hospitalized with uh, those infections. Uh, the majority of those people had uh, blood infections, so what we call septicemia. Um, so they had the bacteria infection in their blood. Uh, and that can certainly make you quite, uh, quite unwell and uh, need uh, sometimes need ICU uh, admissions and things. Has anyone died in this province of this? Uh, yeah, so we have had uh, deaths as a result of invasive group A strep, and as you say, you know, there, that's not um, unusual. Unfortunately, uh, it does carry with it a fairly significant uh, case fatality rate. So. Yeah, can can you tell us how many how many of the fifty two uh, died last year? Oh, we had three deaths last three year. Deaths. Okay, and yeah, some of the numbers are quite alarming. We're hearing reports that one in ten people who contract this particular kind of strep uh, can die. How seriously should we be taking this? So I think you know we need to we do need to put it in perspective. We are talking about fifty two cases, so it's still not an overly common occurrence. Obviously, when we compare it to regular strep infections that we talk about, you know. Um, so not everybody who gets a strep throat is going to end up getting invasive strep and get sick, 